Okay, it's the sand dollar here this morning. It's Monday morning after Mother's Day weekend. Uh, doing this one spot I haven't done in about a month. I haven't come across nothing but some aluminum foil, so uh, I'm not sure if somebody else has done detected it yesterday or not. Uh, I know we had some wind erosion, so there, I don't see any signs yet. There again, I haven't found nothing yet either. <clears throat> so today I'm running my MX Sport again, my stainless steel sand scoop, and my gold digger pinpointer. It's 10 after 6, sun will be up in about 40 minutes. It's going to be a beautiful sunrise, it's a nice breeze, and uh, well, I'll let you know if I hit another target if I find any targets. So, okay, I just come across a Hot Wheels car buried in the sand, uh, probably about 10 inches deep. So, we went wet sand. So, low tides at 6.30, so, looks like a Camaro convertible. Anyway, let's know if hit another target. Okay, just come across a nickel, about six inches deep. First coin of the day. I was surprised, I figured it was a pull tab, but it's actually a nickel. So, all right, let's know if hit another target. Okay, I just come across a penny in the dry sand. Been there a while too. It's pretty crusted, so it's about four inches deep. Memorial penny. So let you know if I find another target. Okay, you see this old man right here? This old man has got a bicycle, three wheel bicycle. He put a metal detector on front of it. He picks up, he rides the beach. That metal detector's four foot wide and five, or four feet wide and uh, three feet by four feet. And he'll ride that beach metal detecting with a battery operated bicycle. And he'll scan the beach, all eight miles of beach. And a lot of times he gets down here before sunrise like four or five in the morning and uh, this is some of the reason why we uh us other metal detectors that don't have that option and we have trouble finding things is because he's done picked it clean now i admit he's an old man and it supplements his income and the thing is is that uh you know, he, he paid five grand to build that, that search coil and amp for his bicycle. So, <clears throat> some ways, that I'm, you know, it's pretty cool how he did it. Other ways, man, he's, he's picking the beach clean for us other metal detectors. You know, and then being it's electric, he don't even pedal. He just switches it on drive and scans the beach, man, all eight miles of beach. So, but there ain't nothing you can do about it, you know. I mean, more power to him, I guess, but damn, he really, he really rapes the beach, man. It's called raping it. And I mean, he does, because this morning I went to the spot where I haven't done in a month. I come up with a nickel, a penny, and a Hot Wheels car. A lot of bottle caps and aluminum foil, so the sign someone else has been there. Maybe yesterday afternoon after the beach closed or something, I don't know. There wasn't no signs in the sand because of wind erosion. So I couldn't really tell if someone else had been there other than I didn't find nothing. So I'm heading down to this other spot I normally have been doing before because low tide was at 6.30, high tide's at noon time today. So I'm going to head down to this one resort and see what I can find there or call it a day. Anyway, I'll let you know when I get there and I'll hit a target. Okay, I'm going to do a wrap up. Not that it's much worth wrapping up. I found two tent stakes, a Hot Wheels car, and that's my best find of the day. 
one nickel, one penny. It's a pretty sad hunt this morning, especially after uh, Mother's Day weekend. But like I said, there's that one boy, he comes down here on that bicycle and metal detects, you know, he's got a big detector on the front of his bike and he rapes the beach, man. There's nothing I can do about it. So, I figured I'd find uh, have a better day hunting. Maybe I should have went to North Shore instead of South Shore, but something told me to go South Shore and I did. I don't know why, but I wish I'd have went to North Shore. Anyway, I'll try to get back out sometime this week, maybe Thursday, Friday. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless everybody. Okay, it's the sand dollar here. It's Friday. I think it's the 19th. Uh, it's unusual for me to metal detect in the afternoon, but it's been such a bad week. I just had to get out of the house for a while and get some fresh air. So I'm on the beach. It's about it's getting on four o'clock. Today I'm running my MX Sport, my stainless steel sand scoop, and my gold digger land to sea pinpointer. We got a tropical storm blowing in. Nothing major, just a little storm coming in out of the Bahamas windy today it's a lot of wind erosion uh rough surf so anyway i'm down here metal detecting get a head start on the weekend boys anyway see what i can find if I hit a target i'll let you know okay i just come across a quarter about four inches deep in the sand been there a little while starting to get corroded up but anyway nice little find we've only been here about half hour so first quarter of the day all right let's know if we hit another target okay i just come across a dime about four inches deep and it's multiple targets so it might be a small coin spill anyway i'll let you know Okay, it was a nickel. That was the other target. All right, I'll let you know if we hit another. Okay, I just come across another quarter, and it is really crusty, so that tells me somebody ain't been metal detecting in this spot in at least a week or so. So that's a good sign. Either that or they missed it, so. It's so crusty I can't even get a date off of it. But let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across another quarter. It was about 10 inches deep, but starting to get corroded up a little bit. Probably about a week old, I guess. All right, let's know if we hit another target. Okay, I quit for the day. I've been here about two hours. Uh, got hot, but I ran into, as I worked down the beach, I ran into signs of tracks where there was another metal detector, must have been here this morning. Obviously the quarters that I found he missed or something. And I didn't do a wrap up because there's no sense. I found one pull tab, one shower curtain ring, three quarters, a dime and a nickel. So uh, this coming week's a week of high tide. 
and the following week Memorial Day weekend starts the week of low tide so that's gonna be to my benefit to do that but anyway um, thanks for watching please subscribe I need all the subscribers I can get so tell your friends and neighbors to watch and and please don't forget to have your spouses spayed or neutered so God bless everybody. Thanks for watching.